Welcome back to Cool It. It's great to see you all again. I'm Don. You've been on quite an amazing Move It journey since I last saw you. You've learned some great stuff, and today will be hopefully no different, because today we're going to focus on gratitude. Lots of people don't take the time to think about what they're grateful for, but we find that, you know, in psychology and in the world of how to be happier, when we stop, especially when we're upset and worried and stressed out, and to try to remember what things to be grateful for, it often makes everything seem better. Let me ask you all a question. How many of you have a TV set in your house? You all have, well, we won't go into specifics of what type of TV, and how many of you only have one channel on your TV? How many have a lot of channels on your TV? Okay, I bet you do too. But at any rate, imagine if our emotions are like a TV set and we wake up one day and we turn it on and there's only the worry channel. That'd be pretty bad, wouldn't it? So I'm thinking that gratitude is like a channel we can turn to when we're in a bad mood, when we're worried, when we're sad, when we're scared, when we're stressed out. And it's like, you know, I want to look at things differently. So then you step back, you turn to the gratitude channel and say, what do I have to be grateful for right now? And we could be here for a long time listing all those things if we think about it. We talked about it before. Everybody want to say one thing that they're grateful for right now in their life or at this moment? Tierra? Being here. That's a wonderful thing. I'm grateful too for being here. Jonathan? Going to the Krabby Derby tomorrow. He's going to the Krabby Derby tomorrow. Matt? Um, I'm thankful for my family and gra grateful for my family and friends and everyone that surrounds me and makes me happy. Mm, that's pretty special to appreciate that. Jacob? Being on this TV show. Yeah, that's been a pretty good experience, huh? Not to take for that for granted, huh? Julia? Um, I am grateful for EPAC which I'm going to tomorrow, but maybe I won't be so grateful for it tomorrow. Sounds like you're going to have a busy day, huh? James, do you have anything to add? Oh, okay. Matt? I'm grateful for all the people that I know in one big happy family, all my, my grandparents and my aunts and everyone that I know. Thank you for the opportunities I've had so far in school and education. And thankful to be able to fish and have a home, have a shelter, and have friends and everything. Lots of things. And I bet we each, when we think about it, can put a long list. But for right now, because of the journey you've been on with um, Move It, you've been focusing on how to be healthier and how to take better care of your body and how to eat better and all that. So, you know, when I teach people yoga, part of what we do is we focus on how to use our bodies as, as healthfully energetically as possible so we're going to go through some of the parts of the body and see what we're grateful for because what they're good for so let's start from the bottom up okay what's the bottom part of our body feet. feet okay then let's bring our feet out and see what they do let's put our hands down and what do we do with our feet anybody what are feet good for Walking. feet are... playing soccer playing soccer being ticklish you enjoy being ticklish. Okay, so that's one thing to do with the feet. Anybody else? Walking. Walking. Boy, walking is important, isn't it? Running around. Running around. Kicking stuff. Kicking stuff. Matt? Most sports, usually you need your feet. You need your feet. Okay, well let's see if we can have fun with our feet at this moment, okay? Let's um, wiggle our toes. Okay, <laughs> let's move our toes back and forth. If we move our feet back a little bit, we can do a wave with our feet, okay? I'll start the wave. Everybody has to start down. Everybody has to start down. Start down here? Okay. No, no, On the outside of the pillow. Like okay, down. Okay. okay. Matt, you gotta start down. Okay, good. Okay, let's work our way up. What are knees good for? Pass around the mic. Running. You need the knees for running too. They're pretty good for flexibility and bending. For bending. Walking. For walking. Acting as a barrier for your muscles. Oh, that's a complex scientific explanation. Well, let's get on our knees and see what we can do if we're on our knees. Okay? Let's, let's we'll go around the circle on our knees. Let's go this way. Oh, 
Okay, let's come up to our stomachs. What's the stomach good for? Digesting food. Digesting food. Providing power for your body. Very good. Anything else? Holding your food. <laughs> Holding your food. Julia? Dancing. Dancing? Your muscles are very important in your stomach, like, you know, tightness and... Your diaphragm. Yes. Very that, important that. breathing. Yeah. Okay, well, we could spend all night. We could talk about the lungs. We can talk about the shoulders. But I think for, for right now, let's remember our, the importance of our hands and our arms. So what good are the hands and the fingers? Anybody have a... You need your hand to hold the microphone to tell what hands are good for. Writing. Writing. Let's all write. It's all right in the air. That's good. Do you write with two hands or one hand? Okay. Anybody else have an idea of what hands are good for? Grabbing objects. Grabbing objects like air, boxes and things. Hitting things. How about high fives? Yeah. 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 High five in the center. Double hands. Go. Go. Ouch. Oops, not too hard. Okay, Him. let's sit down on our heels. So, okay. What are our ears good? We have, we have these things called ears. What are they good for? Hearing. So you're grateful for hearing, huh? Why is hearing important? So you can listen. Listen and learn. Absolutely. Anything else? Holding your earrings. Earrings are good. Ears are made for earrings, I guess, right? Julia, do you have another use They're for They're good earrings? to do magic tricks like wiggling them. Can anybody wiggle their ears? I can. Your hands? Not everybody can do Sometimes that, right? when I'm bored, I like flinging my earlobe. I don't know why. It's just. Okay, what else? How many of you are grateful for these things? What are these things called? Eyes. Eyes. Seeing. How important. What, what things do you enjoy looking at? My dog. Your dog. Outdoors. The beautiful outdoors. Absolutely. Matt? My mother. <laughs> How's that funny? I love my mother. That's beautiful. Okay, how about um, what one of the. What's this called? The mouth. So, mouth is important for eating. Yes, and you've learned a lot about that. To talk. Chewing carefully. To, to talk. sing, more importantly. To sing. Sing a song of sixpence in a pie. <laughs> row, row, row your boat. Gently down, down the stream. A stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Like a butter dream. Like a butter dream. <laughs> we'll work on our singing for the future, okay? Um, <laughs> any really important body part we left out? Well, put right. your fingers to go. We, we did. Ah, we did smiling. And just there's just so many things that we can do inside and out of our bodies that make us feel good. But one I think that's very important for us not to leave out, since I'm, one of the things I've enjoyed with all of you, is I've really been grateful for your senses of humor and our laughter. So as an aid for that, um, we have these little things on the side. Do you want to grab those and let's get them on? Why do we wear hats like this? For fun. Because we're fun and funny. But if we've got hats on our heads, how do we make it a little funnier? I think we should probably see how our faces can make funny, funny faces. One, two, three. Okay, now let's make a serious face. And let's involve our hands. Very good. And now let's make a, a strange, scary face. Um. Okay, now we've gone through all these interesting body parts and left out a lot of them, but when you put it all together, I think we can feel grateful just to have these bodies and to be able to be so creative. So one of the things that I think is a really beautiful thing to do with all of our bodies is we stand up and we move just the way we want to feel, and some people call it dancing. So let's just stand up with our hats and let's, let's move around. Okay, let's first move by ourselves. Get your hat back, Jonathan. Okay, now let's come back in a circle in our old yoga fashion and let's join hands. Yeah? Hurry up. You can get the hat on. Okay, let's join hands 
And let's raise our hands up. And let's move our hands over. Raise our hands up. And raise them back. And let's lift our left foot. And wiggle it, wiggle it. And let's add our voices, because that's another fun part of our body. And go, ha, ha. Good. Shake our hands up. Good. And OK, James, we want to jump up. Let's one, two, three, let's jump. OK. Now let's come down on our knees. Applause to all of you. You guys are wonderful. I am grateful to be here with you. And, we, and remember the lesson, when you're in a bad mood and you're stuck on one of those negative challenges, switch to the gratitude channel and take note of all the things that you have going right then that you could make use of to feel better and happier. That makes sense? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. High five. Can we dance? <laughs> okay, let's dance again. Let's get yeah. up.